Remember Jules Verne's classic novel, Journey to the Center of the Earth? The human imagination has long been captivated by the mysteries hidden beneath our feet. What lies beneath the surface of our planet? What secrets does Earth hold within its depths? While we haven't quite reached the Earth's core, a remarkable feat of engineering and scientific ambition brought us closer than ever before. Nestled in the remote Kola Peninsula of Russia, the Kola Super Deep Borehole stands as a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. This marvel of engineering, often called the entrance to hell by sensationalists, represents the deepest artificial point on Earth. The borehole plunges over 12 kilometers into the Earth's crust, a distance longer than the height of Mount Everest. The Kola Super Deep Borehole wasn't just about breaking records, it was a scientific endeavor of extraordinary proportions, aimed at unlocking the secrets hidden deep within our planet's crust. The project yielded invaluable data and challenged our understanding of Earth's composition and history. The Kola Super Deep Borehole Project began in the 1970s, during the height of the Cold War. This was a period marked by intense competition and rivalry between the world's two superpowers. It was a time of intense scientific and technological rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. Each nation was eager to outdo the other in various fields of research and development. Both superpowers were engaged in ambitious space exploration programs, racing to conquer the final frontier of space. The moon landings and satellite launches were just a few examples of their competitive spirit. The Soviets decided to embark on a different kind of exploration, a journey into the depths of our own planet. They aimed to uncover the secrets hidden beneath the Earth's surface. The project was a massive undertaking, requiring the development of innovative drilling technologies and techniques. These advancements were necessary to penetrate the Earth's crust and reach unprecedented depths. The Soviets assembled a team of the country's brightest geologists, engineers, and technicians. This team was composed of experts from various fields, all working together towards a common goal. They were tasked with designing and constructing a drill capable of withstanding the extreme conditions deep within the Earth. The temperatures and pressures at such depths posed significant challenges. The Kola Peninsula, with its ancient Precambrian rocks, was chosen as the drilling site. This location was selected due to its geological significance and the potential insights it could offer. These rocks, some of the oldest on Earth, offered a unique window into our planet's early history. Studying them could provide valuable information about the Earth's formation and evolution. The drilling commenced on May 24, 1970. This marked the beginning of a groundbreaking scientific endeavor that would capture the world's attention. It was a moment of great anticipation and excitement for the scientific community. Researchers and scientists from around the globe eagerly awaited the results of this ambitious project. The project's primary goal was to reach a depth of 15,000 meters. This would make it the deepest man-made hole on Earth, surpassing all previous records. This ambitious target, however, proved more challenging to achieve than initially anticipated. The deeper the drill went, the more difficult the conditions became, testing the limits of human ingenuity and technology. Despite the challenges, the team persevered, constantly analyzing data and adjusting their techniques. Their dedication and determination were crucial in pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Throughout the project, there were numerous milestones and moments of celebration. Each meter drilled brought new discoveries and a deeper understanding of the Earth's interior. Ultimately, the Kola Super Deep Borehole reached a final depth of 12,262 meters. While it fell short of the original goal, it remains the deepest artificial point on Earth to this day. The legacy of the Kola Super Deep Borehole Project lives on, inspiring future generations of scientists and engineers. It stands as a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Drilling into the Earth's crust is not as simple as digging a hole in the ground. The deeper you go, the greater the challenges. The Earth's crust is composed of various layers of rock, each with its own unique properties and challenges. As the drill descended deeper, it encountered increasingly hard and dense rock formations, extreme temperatures, and immense pressure. To overcome these obstacles, Soviet engineers developed specialized drilling rigs and equipment. They employed a technique known as rotary drilling, which uses a rotating drill bit to cut through rock. The drill bit, studded with super hard diamonds, was attached to a long string of drill pipes. 
as the drill bit bored deeper, more drill pipes were added extending the reach of the borehole. To cool the drill bit and lubricate the drilling process, a special drilling fluid was pumped down the borehole. This fluid, called drilling mud, also carried rock fragments back to the surface. Analyzing these rock fragments provided valuable insights into the composition and properties of the Earth's crust at different depths. Section 4. Surprises at 12,262 meters, unveiling Earth's hidden secrets. After nearly two decades of relentless drilling, the Kola Superdeep Borehole reached its maximum depth of 12,262 meters in 1989. This monumental achievement marked a significant milestone in the field of geology and deep earth exploration. While the project fell short of its initial ambitious target of 15,000 meters, the depth achieved was still an unprecedented feat of engineering and scientific exploration. The celebration among the engineers and scientists was a testament to the hard work and dedication that went into this groundbreaking project. The journey into the Earth's crust revealed a treasure trove of unexpected discoveries, challenging existing geological models, and deepening our understanding of our planet. These findings provided new insights into the composition and behavior of the Earth's crust, offering a glimpse into the hidden secrets of our planet. One of the most surprising findings was the absence of a distinct boundary between the Earth's granite and basalt layers. This discovery contradicted long-held geological theories and prompted scientists to reevaluate their understanding of the Earth's crust. Geologists had long believed that the continental crust transitions from granite to basalt at a certain depth. This belief was based on decades of research and observations, forming the foundation of our understanding of the Earth's structure. However, the Kola borehole revealed a much more complex and gradual transition zone. Instead of a clear-cut boundary, the transition between granite and basalt was found to be intricate and gradual, suggesting a more nuanced and layered structure of the Earth's crust. This discovery forced scientists to rethink their understanding of the Earth's crustal structure. The new data challenged existing models and theories leading to a re-examination of geological processes and the formation of the Earth's crust. Another unexpected finding was the high temperature encountered at depth. The extreme heat at such depths was far beyond what scientists had anticipated, raising new questions about the thermal dynamics of the Earth's interior. At 12,262 meters the temperature reached a scorching 180 degrees Celsius, or 356 degrees Fahrenheit, significantly hotter than expected. This intense heat provided valuable data on the geothermal gradient and the heat flow within the Earth's crust. This extreme heat posed significant challenges for the drilling equipment and highlighted the technical difficulties of deep earth drilling. The high temperatures caused equipment failures and required innovative solutions to continue the drilling process. These challenges underscored the complexity and difficulty of exploring the earth's deep interior pushing the boundaries of engineering and scientific knowledge. Section 5. Ancient Life in Deep Earth, Microscopic Fossils, and Their Significance Perhaps the most fascinating discovery from the Kola Superdeep Borehole was the presence of microscopic fossils at depths of over 6 kilometers. These fossils, invisible to the naked eye, have opened a window into a world that existed billions of years ago. These tiny remnants of ancient life, known as microfossils, were found embedded in rock formations billions of years old. The discovery of these microfossils has provided scientists with invaluable information about the conditions of early Earth and the types of organisms that once thrived in its ancient oceans. Their presence at such depths challenged the prevailing view that life could not exist under such extreme conditions. The extreme pressure and temperature at these depths were thought to be inhospitable to life Yet these microfossils proved otherwise, suggesting that life is far more adaptable than previously believed. The microfossils discovered in the Kola borehole belong to single-celled marine organisms called plankton. These plankton were not just any ordinary organisms, they were the foundation of the marine food chain, playing a crucial role in the ecosystem of ancient Earth. These tiny creatures, which form the base of the marine food chain, existed in a time when Earth's atmosphere and oceans were vastly different from today's. The ancient oceans were likely rich in minerals and had different chemical compositions, providing a unique environment for these organisms to thrive. The discovery of these ancient life forms at such depths provided tantalizing clues about the early evolution of life on Earth. It suggested that life began in the oceans and gradually adapted to various extreme environments, 
paving the way for the diverse forms of life we see today. The presence of microfossils in the deep earth also raised questions about the possibility of life existing in other extreme environments both on earth and beyond. If life could survive in the harsh conditions of the earth's deep crust, it opened up the possibility that life might exist in similar extreme environments on other planets or moons. If life could thrive in the harsh conditions of the Earth's deep crust, it suggested that life might be more resilient and adaptable than previously thought. This resilience and adaptability of ancient life forms provide hope and direction for future explorations in the search for extraterrestrial life, as well as a deeper understanding of life's tenacity on our own planet. Section 6. Water, Water Everywhere Unexpected Discoveries in Earth's Depths Another remarkable discovery from the Kola Superdeep Borehole was the presence of large quantities of water at depths where it was not expected. Geologists had previously believed that the deep earth was largely dry, with water only present in small amounts trapped within minerals. However, the Kola Borehole revealed the presence of flowing water at depths of over 9 kilometers. The water discovered in the Kola Borehole was not the kind we typically find at the Earth's surface. It was chemically bound to the surrounding rocks, existing in a state known as geofluid. This geofluid, under immense pressure and temperature, played a crucial role in various geological processes, including the formation of mineral deposits and the movement of tectonic plates. The discovery of abundant water in the deep Earth had profound implications for our understanding of the Earth's water cycle and the role of water in shaping our planet. It suggested that the deep Earth might hold vast reserves of water, potentially greater than all the surface water on Earth combined. 